here on Arthur's Seat, waiting for the sunrise to herald in the summer. It's May Day, 2023, and Beltane is the Celtic name for May Day. Actually, it's not. There's a complicated story about why it's the uh, first. It's the second moon after the equinox, which is April the 20th this year, something like that. But traditionally, we celebrate it on the first of May, and this is us on Arthur's Seat. This is my sister. There we are, and various people coming to celebrate the beginning of the Celtic summer. Even some dogs are coming. Down there is Dunsapi Loch, which my father told me is a fissure in the volcanic earth. This is Arthur's Seed, an extinct volcano, and the fissure goes to the centre of the earth, told my father. And I believed that until I was about 25, and I found out it was complete nonsense. Well, it might be true. Traditionally, the cup of tea. There we are, cup of tea on Arthur's seat. This is the mountain in the centre of Edinburgh. Over the sea, the Firth of Forth is the sea estuary of the River Forth, and over there, on the other side, is Fife. And those are the Paps of Fife. I'm sure you can see why. That's what they're called. Their other name is the Lomond Hills. But my father, my old father, I cried them the Paps of Fife. He kent what he was about. Well, it's a lot brighter than the forecast said it was going to be. Yes. Uh, here are people. It's been a bit of a family tradition, although it's my first year uh -huh. of doing it. So a crowd of us all got together, started at half four, wow. met in the car park and... We're all going back down for bacon rolls. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And we're here because we're going, we're here to watch the sunrise in Edinburgh. Hooray! And it's a beautiful view at 4 a.m. in the morning. Wow. And, yeah. Tell them your name. My name is Walda. Hooray! And are you glad you got up early? Was it worth it? We got up early. It was worth it, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Rhoda. Nice to meet you. Just a few minutes now before Lou, the sun god, comes over the horizon. Two pimples there. Uh, the one on the right is Berwick Law, it looks like a pyramid. And the one on the left is the Bass, the Bass Rock. And that's the headland in East Lothian. And the foreground is Edinburgh to Musselburgh and Dunsapy Loch. There we are, it's Lou the Sun God now poking through the clouds. And that is the beginning of the summer in Scotland. I say summer. Summer in Scotland is not what it's like other places. I mean, this is a technical term. It won't be warm and it'll not stop raining. But there we are, that's the Sun God shining through a little solid in the clouds. Oh, there we are. Now, if you don't feel the spirituality of this moment, you bet see you are me working. Boomba Balongo. Great cloud, move out the way now. It's more spectacular with your eyes than it is on the camera. Complete with UFOs. Sun God. What I must do that I've never done is come up here on the equinox and see the sun rise behind Traprain Law. And it, that's due east. And uh, apparently at midday it's directly above, well, it obviously it would be directly above Arthur C. It depends where you're standing, doesn't it? And then it sets behind Cairn Papel, which must have meant, must have made people here think that this was, you know, what it is, a sacred landscape. A little spirit there swimming about in the picture. It's just a light, an effect of the light, I think. And let's call it a, an orb. 
that's the real thing. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to stop filming now and just enjoy this as a spiritual experience. Hi, 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 Solus Invictus, Bibbly Babbly Boo. There is Bibbly Babbly Boo. Hello, Bibbly Babbly Boo. Hi, oi, 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 oi.